How big a dream is this for you and how long have you been thinking about it? Um, yeah, I mean, you think about it ever since you start playing hockey and you watch watching the guys like the big rink going to wild games and stuff when you're younger. It's something like, you know, it kind of was like a dream then. So it's uh, still kind of sinking in a little bit. Uh, I mean, it feels great though. Happy. How was the playoff for you? You were in the stands? I was. I was, uh, yeah, I came today, you know, not really expecting too much. And um, it actually ended up being a little bit of a wait, just like uh, sitting around, you get a little anxious. Just, you don't really know, but it's, it's good. And Toronto's a great organization. It's probably that waiting for Cam because it's, it's, you see it, it's really tough on kids, and it's, it's almost like a, like, a, like a vice because every yeah. choice gets more and more discouraging. How do you? How do you keep your morale up, and, and what was the moment like when you realized you didn't have to worry about it anymore? Um, you know, I mean, as it keeps, the rounds go on and picks keep going, yeah. it's, uh, you start getting a little, I mean, you get, you're nervous at the beginning, then you start just feeling um, a little bit like maybe it's not going to happen, you know, maybe you're going to have to go use it as motivation and whatnot for uh, working out and all that kind of stuff, just to, uh, you know, you start thinking about what you're going to do yeah. and how you're going to have to react. Yeah. And, um, but once that once they did call my name, it was uh, it was a big relief for sure. Can you describe your game for um, I consider myself a defensive defenseman. Uh, I move the puck up quick, uh, make the first pass, get it to the forwards, move the puck up, and uh, you know concentrate on my own zone a little bit on the rush and stuff. Pretty good at that kind of stuff. What are your plans going forward? Uh, I'll be playing going out to Cambridge, Massachusetts, to play for Harvard in the fall. So you're smart then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it does okay in the classroom. Yeah. Yeah. Ber Berkey always dropped in those uh, Ivy Leaguers. Yeah, know, just to kind of spice in the pot. Yeah. Did you have much contact with Brian Burke at all? Um, you know, I actually, I, my brother plays with uh, Dave Morrison. His son is on Harvard too, so uh, I had a little contact with uh, Mr. Morrison. And, um, Talked, actually got to meet Brian Burke for the first time the other day when I went uh, to the hotel to do their physical evaluation, that kind of stuff. So not a whole lot directly with him, but with the organization I had a little bit. What did he say to you today after he uh, evicted you? Uh, he's asked me where I live in Edina and just said that uh, it's good to have another cake eater on board. <laughs> uh, no, it was, it was good. <laughs> uh, Marshall, my dad, he is a ophthalmologist, uh, eye physician, and uh, my mom is a radiologist. Her name is Lenore. Is that right? Yeah. Radiologist, too. Yep. You mentioned uh, uh, Mariucci. That was by an honest. Yeah, pretty, yeah, pretty good grades in that one, by the Yeah. <laughs> your, uh, your teammate, uh, Stephen Fogarty, was asked about this earlier. Uh, about uh, contact with any with Coach Giles leading into the draft. Did you uh, have any conversations with Kurt? You know, I haven't talked to him in a while, actually. Um, last time, I, you know, I, I did have contact about the, this whole process, though, a little while ago. Um, and, you know, he just said, no matter what happens, you just got to keep working hard and, you know, you're not going to earn your roster spot by getting drafted. It's what happens after that. So, uh, you know, I'm sure I'll talk to him in the next few days here before I leave for school, at least for sure. Hey, you mentioned he, you're a defensive defenseman. Obviously, he was one of the best in this league. How much of an impact has he had on your development? Oh, he's been incredible. Um, him and Dave Longevin, Don Beaupre, all on the staff uh, for our coaching. And it's incredible having that kind of experience for the past few years. Uh, every day going to the rink, it's like everything they say, you just want to soak it up. Um, and you know, it's, he's he's really he's been perfect for me as a role model too, because uh, the way he played was similar to me. And even though he's a small, a little smaller too, but uh, do you have that hip check in your repertoire? I don't. I don't. I, he, he couldn't. I asked him to teach me, but he's it's hard to pull off. Yeah, it is harder than it looks. It is. <laughs> Max, relate to the game here. Tell me what it felt like to hear your name called today. 